Hi everyone, Eileen here from the Lavinia Stamps DT. I thought I'd do something a bit different today. I can't show you a sample because I haven't made one. I'm going to wing it. Um, I have it in mind to do a few layers using various inks, stamps, a stencil, and my Lavinia Stamps Bob Long gel press. Now I'll show you all the items that I'm using, all the products, as we go along. But I'm just going to get stuck in now and see how it turns out. Thanks for being with me today. I've got a few bits of copy paper. I'm going to need those. And I've already opened up my Bubblong gel press packaging and I've got the gel press on a large acrylic block, as you see. Any non-porous surface will do. And I'm using the Lavinia Stamps brayer and Elements uh, Della Blue. Layer number one. I've got about half of the brayer covered there. Just taking off a bit of the ink, ooh, because it's very strong. And then down onto my gel press. One more layer, I think, will do there. Okay, that should do it. You can't see it. It's more or less transparent, but it is there. I'll tell you it's there. So that's layer one. We've made a start. <laughs> now I'm going to do some stamping, and I'm using um, marine kelp. And there's uh, a couple of uh, images using this uh, a beautiful stamp. Uh, one is larger than the uh, than the other one. I'm using the largest of the two, and I'm going to place it onto a Lavinia Stamps acrylic block. Beautiful. I'm going to ink up with archivals. I'm using Seafarer first. Now, these are um, dye inks. They are permanent, so they won't react with water once they're dry. Uh, but they're transparent, and I love them because of that feature. So just inking up with Seafarer. And then I'm going to place this straight on to the gel press. Oh! after I've knocked it all over the place, like so. Not pressing too heavily, uh, because I don't want the indentation of the acrylic block coming out on my gel press. So making sure that I focus the pressure in the stamp itself and inking up again. This is going to be a waltz and all demonstration, because I'm not even sure how it's going to turn out. Ah, that's better. Now you can actually see the image. So I needed more ink. Let's pop another bit there. Now when you're using a gel press, of course, when you take the print, your image will be flipped over. So what you have on the right-hand side will be on the left when, it's, uh, when you've taken the print. So I want to make sure that this area has got a fair amount of image on it going up on the as it is now right hand side I'm going to bring some more this side I think yeah I don't want to really press too hard or too heavily because I don't want the indentation from the block itself just want the image but that's looking quite good I'm giving it a quick wipe over with a dry cloth. And then I'm going to use Rose Madder. Bring in some pink. It's quite juicy pads. They're quite new, these pads. Let's see how this goes. So pop that down. Oh, yes, I can see that inked up again and then coming up this side 
yeah that's looking good and then over here so I've got a fair bit of the image the foliage image at the bottom of my gel press and then creeping up the sides as you see I think I could do with a bit more pink here yeah I don't want that right print number one I'm using a piece of multifarious cardstock in cream and this is 19.5 centimeters by nine centimeters. I just want to make sure that I get it. It's more or less the same size as my gel press. It might need a little bit of a trim. This is a Baron, by the way. And uh, I bought this from uh, an art shop in London, Jackson Art. saves my hands and that is the first print I'm quite happy with that so I'm going to pop that out of the way that's quite nice going back to my gel press now I want to introduce some orange and a different stamp um, what have I got oh that's nice this one is vine it's called vine I don't know if it's vine or the vine but it's lovely and another block so I've got an acrylic block here or plate I'm not going to be so fluent with my words today. <laughs> I think you may have noticed that because I'm actually thinking more as I go along. I'm not really paying attention to what I'm saying. I'm just thinking of what I'm doing as it's sort of... Haven't, well, I haven't got a guideline, have I? <laughs> okay. So inking up with orange blossom in archival and then back on to the gel press again and then inking again because it's going over the top of some of those kelp images I want it to maybe stand out a bit that's nice so this is another layer that will be going onto the gel press and then onto the cardstock. Okay, so let's try that. So taking the original print and popping it down again. The back of your cardstock is going to get filthy, doesn't matter. You're going to miss a few bits, that doesn't matter either. We're all chilled here. I'm going to edge everything anyway, so cover up any mistakes. And that's another layer. So I'm really pleased with that. I've got a mark there I don't want. I can get rid of that. But I'm quite pleased with that at the bottom. Um, what shall I do next? I suppose I do need it to stand out a bit more. I think I'm going to pop my fairy in now so I know exactly where she is before I start adding any more stuff. So just let me clear up a little bit here. I'm getting covered in ink. Nothing new there then. Um, all right, I want to get rid of that because it's annoying me. And as you know, I'm using my sand eraser being fairly firm with it so it gets rid of that mark could have used a white pen actually it doesn't matter so it's a bit of a white blob there that that's uh, that's all part of the pattern in the background <laughs> right next 
theory. Yes. Stamp press. Better safe than sorry. I should tape this down as well. Because now I've got a nice background, I don't want to risk that the cardstock will move if I have to do more than one impression. Okay, that's this sweet poppy stencil, stencil tape that I'm using here. And I'm looking for the fairy. I know I have it here somewhere. Where is she? There she is. The Woodland Sprite, absolutely gorgeous image. And pop her down there, around about there, yes, more or less centre stage. There's a piece of kelp there that is a bit close. I don't want to, don't really want that being too close to her face. <laughs> it looks as if she's, <laughs> if it's going up of her nose. <laughs> Not a good look, is it? No. Right. First find Claire Nocturne. Just make sure you can see this okay. Yes, you can. Plenty of ink. And then over we go. Not bad. Could do with another pressing, I reckon. Yeah. Let's have another go as well. Not bothered about the um, stem really or the bluebells. It's just the solid image of the fairy herself that needed a bit more ink on her. And over we go. Lovely. I will clean the stamp press and the fairy up later. So that's another layer. Now I'm going to add another layer with this absolutely beautiful. This is ideal for gel press because it hasn't got a frame, but I'm not going to use it on the gel press. I'm going to use it straight onto the cardstock in this case. And this is called Ambience, this stencil. I don't want too much of it because the background is getting quite busy now. Just want to add another layer and a bit of colour. Oops. And yeah, I'm using Archival Ink in Sunflower. No, the ink didn't go on there. That was lucky, Eileen. <laughs> I'm using a stencil brush for this. Lavinia Stamp Stencil Brush. I'm just going to pop some colour in a few areas. Hmm. Need to have a bit more pressure. I can see the colour, but not the stencil image. 
it's not bad. It, it's not a great deal, but there maybe that's better in the sense that it would have been just maybe too busy. Let's go up the card a bit. And then another bit over this side. Yeah, that's nice. That gives me another layer. Right. Now I want to bring the bottom of the card maybe to the forefront a little more. So I'm going to stamp with uh, Nocturne in black this vine. Now this will be the make or break. Can overdo this. I've done this before when I've um, attempted layers. And uh, well, I did put too much on, to be honest. Too, too much, uh, not too much ink. I stamped the image far too much and it was too busy. So don't want to do it. Three times only. One. Two, a bit more on that side there. And then uh, along the bottom, I think. What, what do you say? I can't hear you. <laughs> there. Oh, yeah, that's good. And it's covered up the bottom of that stem as well. Oh, yeah, I'm getting there. I can, I can feel it. Now, I'm going to put one more layer on again. Yeah, I'm having fun doing this. Uh, well, I am now. It's coming together. <laughs> yes, it's more or less as it was in my head. I'm going to Orange Blossom. And I'm going to introduce another stamp. And this one is Bramble. Gorgeous stamp. Back to a block again. Introducing another one. In fact, actually, I'm going to remove the kelp and pop Bramble on there. Yeah, not bad. So, Orange Blossom. And the beauty of archivals is that, as you can see, you can see through the layers but you can see that Nocturne is not a transparent ink. It is opaque. And so that is why I've chosen to use it at the bottom, but not to give it, um, not to use it right up the card because I want the other images to show. And um, the Nocturne hasn't got the transparent feature. Right, I'm going to pop just a tiny amount here. I'm not pressing too heavily. I don't want it to be too busy going up the top because it just I'll just overload the image. A bit more here, maybe. Yeah. Oh, she's in a flower garden. And then one more of the image. So I'm three again and coming up a little bit more here. Yeah. Ooh, I don't know. I don't know about that. Mm, I'm happy until I got to there. Right, I'm going to have to do something. I'm going back to this seafarer. Can you see the balance isn't right now? It looks, ooh, that's bad news. Same stamp, we're going to use Bramble, but I need to close that gap. Yeah, I don't know if I've ruined that. Well, we won't know until the end, okay? So I'm going to keep going. And it may be I need to bring out my eraser to knock some of that back. Now I'm going to keep going first. This will help clean piece of copy paper will give me more perspective rather than seeing other inky images all the way around. Now I've got 
total perspective on that. Well, maybe I'll keep going with it. Um, so I'm going to do around the edges now. And I'm using a brush from Lavinia Stamps and Twilight. Oh, before I do, I've got another layer. See, I'm sorry about this. I keep forgetting, but as a part of the um, winging it process, I need some words. I did have some words here. What have I done with those? Here they are. So I have some words. There'll be even another layer. And these are words of spring. Bit early. Yes, I know we haven't had Christmas yet, but don't worry, it won't be long. Now, popping this onto a block. Like so. You're still with me? You haven't fallen asleep. And... I think I might use this rose madder so that it brings more pink in, but it's in the background. I'll pop that there. I'm not going to go right up the top, over to the side there. The garden she's in has got even busier now. Three. That will do. Just the three, I think. Because it's it's fighting at all the foliage at the bottom of the words, but it still adds another layer of interest. Oh, what I haven't done is that I haven't given her the spotlight, or rather the moonlight. And I would if I could find what I've done with the moonlight. Right, just stand by your desk. So I won't be a minute. of moons and they're all hiding oh there they are okay okay panic over you're going we're not panicking <laughs> so i have a moon or two i'm going to pop her down there or the moon down there and Pink brush, rose madder archival. And then just flicking out. You're all used to doing this, aren't you? I'm giving this quite a bit of welly, this pink, because it's got to compete with all of that foliage that's all around it. So I'm really going for it here. Like so. And now your eyes should go to that and gently wash over the rest at the bottom. Okay, so now verse Fine Claire, Twilight. Now this is make or break, isn't it? This is, it's either going to pull it all together or it's going to be, it's going to showcase any mistakes. Uh, 
just gently coming in from the edges. Mind you, it doesn't matter how it's turned out. I've really enjoyed doing it. And that's the name of the game, isn't it? As long as you're having fun, you don't have to turn out a masterpiece. You just have to enjoy your hobby. Now I really want to make sure those edges are full of ink. The majority of the ink, as you can see, is going onto the copy paper. And I want to darken up those edges. I'm releasing some of the pressure on my wrist because I just want the blend here wasn't so good, too good. So I just want to bring it down again. And to get the perspective, change the sheet over so that you can see what you're doing without all of the detritus of the other ink. That's not bad. I think I might have saved it now. That outside edge is um, I'm happier with it and then the final thing is that I'm doing is going to give it a few splashes with a chrome pen and now this this is called chrome marker and it's a sweet poppy stencil product and I'm just going to give it a few splashes in the normal way that I do with um, my Perfect Layers ruler. It's a paint. You can overdo this, be careful. And I'm giving it a really good shake. I've moved away from the camera because... <laughs> You just get this blur of my hand. <laughs> hey ho! <laughs> right, that was a really good shake, and you really do need to do that. So now. Gently does it. Because you can move the nib, I found out. <laughs> I gave it such a good whack once that the nib shot out from the pen. <laughs> Frightened the life out of me. So be gentle, yeah? When you're doing this. I don't want the chrome to go over the fairy. Just around the edges. Okay. Right, so if you want one of those, you won't find it on the Lavinia site, I'm afraid. I don't think. Check there, but I th this one was from Sweet Puppy Stencils. And there we have it. That's my few layers winging it. Um, I don't think that I can add any more without ruining it um, but you've got enough to uh, to keep you going I hope and after this I would just get another piece of cardstock I mean I, I'm sure I did tell you at the beginning the cardstock I used was cream and I will mount this on another piece of cream cardstock let me show you that's Lavinia Stamps Multifarious cardstock so I will cut this to size and I will mount it on that. But I hope that you enjoyed myself. Thanks for being with me. And um, I'll see you again very soon. Take care now. Bye for now.